Hey guys, this is Kyle. Welcome back to another day in my life of prop building. But first, if I can get myself to do it, is I like to go to the gym in the morning, and uh, that's what we're gonna go do. Today is arm day, so let's get ready. You guys can come work out with me. Got here to the gym it's actually um, a gold gym it's just over there so we're gonna go in and go in and we're gonna crank this workout out <sighs> all right so I finished my workout it's a good workout I feel really feeling the arms on the way home and uh, gonna get my protein snack and then we are going to continue the prop making all right, hey guys, I'm back home and just got my protein shake. We just really have some more parts we gotta clean up. Still working on that. They are actually turning out really, really well. I'm also trying to work on this helmet 3D model. It ticked me off a little bit. I don't mean to overreact, I'm just a little frustrated. After that, I'm gonna try and at least get the base for the legs done. I have to go out and get fabric, but I'm not gonna do that today. As long as I can have my template or my pattern out, I think I'll be okay. Down in my cave, I guess. Anyway, so I, something came in the mail for me that I ordered. It is my um, new film for uh, helmets. I finally got around to buying one, so I might. I'm gonna try and install that later today. Okay, so some time has passed now. I did a little bit more filling and sanding on the parts. And I went ahead and added more coats of filler primer. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what those look like because they, they're looking a lot cooler now. These are the parts that go on top of the big plates. But these, I think, are pretty much done. Probably just another coat or two. We have all the other stuff. Uh, these are the diffusers, uh, respirator for helmet kit. And the buckle, look how nice that buckle turned out. I'm starting to work on the discs. These just got their first layer. Um, I, looks, I can already tell some spots I'm gonna have to go back and add. I didn't actually do anything to the top yet because I wanted to see how well that really was gonna turn out. So I'm hoping by the end of today, I will have pretty much most of these all primed and ready. I mean, I think that's it. And then I can, then, then these are done until painting, which is great. Just over here. Ah, here it is. Um, if you guys know, I've been wanting to work on something from Destiny. And it's great that Destiny 2 is coming out, so I'm kind of getting this done just in time. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what this is. Here is some progress on my Destiny Hunter knife. Um, this is after, this is like the first initial coats of filler primer after doing a lot of body work. I'm going to be molding this and I'm going to be making copies of these. But I really want to show you guys this because I made enough progress along the way that I really wanted to show you guys this. Now it's on to sketching the legs, uh, working on that, and or doing the helmet or something like that. So that's what it's going to be. So in a few hours when I hopefully make some progress in something, be it the legs or some 3D model for the suit, I will definitely get you guys information about that. A few hours have probably passed by now. Yeah, a couple hours. And, um... Made some some progress, actually. Good news, I guess. Uh, so I've still been filling and sanding the parts, um, just kind of some touch-up stuff. Actually, the only thing is really just focusing on the discs, just getting those top surfaces clean. He was working on the legs. I actually has some sketches, well, more just like conceptual sketches. I'm about ready to kind of do a one-to-one -one scale sketch of that now. It's at different. Not major, but different angles from like just different, slightly different point in, points of views, and they're completely different color schemes. Which, for some reason, for me, makes it completely different. And I'm just really able to attack this and really figure this out. Okay, so after like over an hour of just modifying this, I think I have what I want. And the weird part is, is just how these thigh wraps sit. They don't sit flat. 
the top of it kind of falls, and I put that in quotes, it kind of falls outward. Therefore, the body from foot to head is a vertical axis. Then looking at that wrap, it's not perfectly perpendicular to that axis. It sits down a little bit. Probably, I mean, it varies, it's enough that you can tell and it's enough that it will make that part sort of fall out. Tomorrow, I think I'm gonna end up testing them out. Like, I'm just gonna try different, I mean, I just have some fabric shirt around here. I think I'm just gonna try that stuff out before I actually go and buy the actual fabric. I'll update you guys um, when I'm trying to mold the uh, little buckle piece. I think I did not start molding that piece yet, the little buckle. Um, I totally forgot <clears throat> that I needed to seal it first, so I'm adding clear coat. Um, so after that, then I can start molding it. Alright, so it's starting to get a little late here I'm to show you guys kind of, you know, another speed lapse of me just mixing more silicone and pouring it in. I really want to edit, edit this vlog and let it upload. So thank you guys for being here and I will see you all on Thursday. All eyes on me in the club. See them all looking at me, feeling the touch. Top dollar lady, baby.